but honestly and i'm not even kidding if i only had to choose one product for you guys to try out or like one category for you to try out from she glam it would be this hello guys and welcome back to another video i hope that you are having an amazing day today is a super exciting video as they all are but today we are going to be reviewing the best of she glam beauty 2022 i did one of these videos i believe in 2020 or 2021 when i first started dabbling into the brand and i honestly can say i've tried probably about like 85% of She Glam Beauty products. So definitely a fair share of testing all of those out. Some are newer, some are older, but we are going to dive on in on what are the items you need. If you are looking into dabbling into She Glam Beauty and you have no idea what to get, this will hopefully serve as a guide. I'll be sharing my top favorite items, the ones I use on a regular basis and all of that good stuff. So. If you want to see what made it into the bin, well then just keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to be separating it into three different categories. We'll do eyes first, then we'll do face products, and then we'll do lips. I think that She Glam Beauty eyeshadow palettes are perfect for those of you who are looking for easy, affordable products to just start dabbling into makeup. I find that they pick really good colors to pair into a palette so if you're looking for colorful eyeshadow they have a palette for that a neutral one they have palette for that they have literally endless amount of palettes i think literally probably over like 30 so there's a lot of different options for you to be able to select according to whatever color story you like i also think that if you also just love always looking for affordable eyeshadow palettes this is for you if you're a collector like me that you just love eyeshadow palettes and it's like never enough this is also a really good brand for you to be able to venture out into different color schemes as i've mentioned in my previous she glam beauties i wouldn't say these are the best eyeshadows i've ever tried we're not talking natasha denona or pat mcgrath where we have those like intense buttery and really beautiful mattes and shimmers duo chromes and things like that but these are not bad at all for the most part all of the palettes fall under ten dollars or for sure definitely under 15 so they are extremely affordable and i feel like for what you get on a typical basis for drugstore eyeshadow they're pretty good like i would probably compare them to ColourPop for an instance but i find that honestly sometimes i think i prefer their shimmers uh over the ColourPop. i think that they just have a more their shimmers kind of resemble like the ColourPop Super Shock formula, which is like that moussey feel, which I prefer when it comes to a eye topper. But honestly, I think that they are definitely something to pick up. So I'll just show you guys a few of the palettes that I have on here. I have this one, the She Glam Untamed Palette, and this is the color story. So like I say, they really do, I love the packaging, like everything is so nice and thought out, like everything goes according to whatever the theme is. So they're pretty cohesive, the palettes, which for me, for someone that has probably over 100 palettes, I find that to be what makes me want to buy a palette. When the colors just work well together, I find that it just makes it easier for me to look at it and immediately be able to create a look while just looking at it so I can already tell that if I use just these three colors that can create a beautiful look if I use these three colors that can create a beautiful look this on the inner corner so I love just looking at palettes like this and then being able to just create looks in my head and then bring them onto the eye so I find that their palettes overall are just very cohesive the colors work well together I am a huge fan of their shimmers i will continue to speak of the shimmers because i find that their shimmers are very very beautiful and they work so nicely and they just they're so beautiful and reflective some often even give like that foiled look so i love that and i appreciate that i'll also just watch some of the mattes do have a video where i reviewed and shared over like 20 25 palettes when i did a major eyeshadow haul so i'll be sure to link that one down below but i know that a few of you guys were asking to please swatch the mattes so 
let me just swatch some of those mats so you guys can see this is what they look like on the finger and then I'm just gonna swatch them on there so this is what they look like obviously that yellow you need to put a little bit more work in it but for the most part bright bold colors like that across the board are not the easiest to work with but I find that you can blend them and get them to be able to stick on nice to the eye so I have the untamed palette which I literally love the next one that I have here to show you guys is the hello yellow palette and this color story is just everything I've been really into like greens lately and these tones are just like speaking to me I think this is so perfect for the springtime but it can also be perfect for the fall time so it's just so beautiful once again the theme is on par like it looks so stunning with that leaf and everything is just so cohesive we have the beautiful shimmer like I was mentioning to you guys so I really enjoy these shimmers I find that they are just so beautiful to just you know throw over the eye and the mattes work well too the next palette is the rose code and sorry like how beautiful is this packaging oh it looks so cute and this is what it looks like rosy burgundy tones that just look beautiful honestly even now for the springtime we see once again those really beautiful and reflective shimmers we have those beautiful mattes for you to be able to create many different looks with so this is another one that I really really love now we have the Rhapsody palette and I love greens and purples I think that they look so pretty on oh this purple is like washing me out um, but they look so nice on brown eyes so I love this purple palette and this is what she looks like inside and it is just such a stunner I love that it also has those two neutral colors just to be able to blend in the purples that we have but we have four different eye topper shimmer shades which are just so stunning then we have that deeper purple in the bottom that lilac there's just so many beautiful options to be able to put all over the eye and this is what they look like this one has a more pinky base this one has a more like lilac base and it just looks absolutely stunning so this is just what i was speaking to when mentioning earlier that there's so many different color stories there's so many different palettes that you can pick and choose which look best on you or if you want to dabble with color that's just all colorful if you're more of a neutral person you can buy a neutral one there's so many different beautiful ones these two are actually my newest ones and i am literally so obsessed i use them to create the look that i have now we have the viva the leopard palette and this is what it looks like it actually looks a little similar to the untamed so I'm actually going to just open these side by side okay never mind but they look like they would complement each other really really nicely so this is the Viva La Leopard one and this is the untamed that I was showing you guys earlier honestly shades that I feel like would complement each other so so nice they have quite a few collections on their website and tons of eyeshadow palette options so when i saw this one i thought it was so cute because once again i love these tones i think that they're perfect for this time of the year and this orange like all over the lid i think would look so so beautiful this color looks stunning too it has like some glitter particles but it has that like really beautiful orangey bronzy base now the last palette that i want to show you guys is this sunday picnic one this one is so so stunning when we look at those prints on those specific colors we see sunbeam dawn tea cake and dust like how cute is that little cupcake oh my goodness so this one i looked at it for quite a while and i'm like hmm, do i need it it's pretty neutral you know but every time I saw it I just continued to really want it so I finally picked it up and I'm so happy I did because it is just such a beautiful palette this is one of those palettes that I would honestly like just look at it literally looks so pretty I mean obviously I'm gonna use it but I don't want to mess up the prints but this looks so beautiful this topper let me just show that one to you right on here like excuse me that is so stunning so I know that that over the eye would be so beautiful for an everyday you just want something over the lid to you know look like you put some effort into your eye makeup so I think that this would be such a cute one now before I finish I cannot end this eyeshadow round without sharing my 
ultimate favorite eyeshadow palette right now and it's mostly because it's the one that I get the most use out of which honestly I expected and when you see it you'll know why but it is the smart cookie palette and I'm just gonna open it and you tell me why I use this one so much. It literally has all the neutral warm colors that you would need for an everyday look. I oftentimes reach in for this really deep brown black color to just be able to create a winged liner. I love to use this one in the inner corner and just take some of these colors to just be able to throw over the lid for just an everyday look. All the shades here are matte, which honestly I've been leaning a lot towards. I do love a nice shimmer shade, but for the everyday, I often go for a matte look. I feel like it just wears the absolute best and it just looks really nice. It looks like chic and classic for me, so I really enjoy that look. And I am surprised at how often I reach for this palette. So I would definitely say this is my most used palette so far because it is so neutral and easy and uh, has all the colors that I would need for an everyday and then I would often reach into all the others for the shimmer shades now sticking to eyes One thing that I do want to talk about is lashes if you've been watching me for a while You know that I don't really wear much lashes I do try and dabble into them here and there, but I don't really like like the full lash I feel like I can feel them and I can see them and I don't know It's just a whole thing But I am trying to dabble a little more just because when I do wear the lash I'm just like okay this really does elevate and lift the look and just makes it look that much more complete but for me i really do like to keep more of like the natural aspect of it i don't ever want to like take the lash off and then be like oh my god i have no lashes or feel like i need the lashes on all the time if that makes any sense but anyways i started to dabble into half lashes and i really enjoy that and she glam has so many options for eyelashes like it's completely ridiculous so i picked these up and i'll be sure to link all the items and or at least list them all down below so you guys know exactly which are the items that i'm talking about but I picked this one up and I have been enjoying it. I've used the last two rolls and I love the whole half lash approach. I feel like it gives you that beautiful cat eye. It works so well with my eye shape and I feel like it just completely lifts it, gives it a lot more volume and it just looks so absolutely stunning and I love these. I love that they're not super expensive so I can play around with them. If I mess up, it's okay. They come in a pack with a ton of different ones. So I find that if you're looking to dabble into lashes, drugstore ones or any ones from Shein or She Glam would be so helpful and so beneficial for you to use. Last thing in eyes that I want to talk about is these eyeliners. Now, I picked these creamy eyeliners up prior to this haul so I've been using it for a while and I love them so much not only do they stay true to their name of being creamy but they're also long lasting i like to use these specifically for the bottom waterline but also to create a wing liner for an everyday to just be able to have as a base for any eyeshadow that i want to put on top or if i just want a quick pencil liner i'll just take it create the liner and then smudge it out with a smudger brush and it works so well I have it in black and I have it in brown just for when I want a softer liner but these are so 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 good I used to love the ColourPop ones but whenever I would put those on my liner I feel like they still run which is usually always my problem when it comes to any eyeliner they always first of all my eyes always water as soon as anything comes near my eye but throughout the day they start to run and it looks so gross because it's like collecting here or like running here and that's not the case with these so i really really loved it i bought back up because i use eyeliner pretty much every single day whether on top or in the waterline so i think these are amazing now we're moving into the face and i think that honestly this is where she glam excels they do their face and complexion products so 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 well so let me try and like speed run through this because I have a lot of products on here we'll start with foundation and I am ride or die for all three of the foundations that they have on their website we have the full coverage foundation balm which is their latest foundation release this is so good and what I'm gonna say I would say definitely speaks to all three what I love the most about all of them is that they are long lasting they perform so well on the skin they look high-end like they perform like some of my higher-end foundations and I just love how they last I picked these up I'd say I have 
about maybe two months with these and with the other two that I'll be talking about a, a bit longer and I was using it non-stop in the summertime and it performed so well with the warm weather with the sweat like they just look so good another addition is also that the color match for me is like spot on so we always love a good foundation color match but let me show you guys the other two foundations that i'm talking about we have the skin finite hydrating foundation as well as the complexion pro long lasting breathable matte foundation now these are so 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 good like i mentioned if you like a more hydrating foundation i would recommend this one and obviously if you have a bit of more oily skin i would recommend the matte foundation both feel so nice on the skin the matte one does not feel drying at all it feels as it says breathable it has a soft natural finish which I would definitely agree and attest to and it just wears so well I think honestly that's just what blows my mind the most of all three that they just wear so well I'm actually wearing the balm on here that I put on from earlier today and it just wears so nice you can build up the coverage you can shear out the coverage it just once again i can't express just how beautiful these look on the skin and honestly like i i can't believe that these are under ten dollars like they i would easily say these are one of like my top foundations across the board like they are really good when i want something to last me throughout the day i would often reach for these I have the color golden in all three and it seems as though the color stays consistent across all formulas so if you have one color that works for you and you want to try another foundation chances are that it will be the same color that you have but honestly and I'm not even kidding if I only had to choose one product for you guys to try out or like one category for you to try out from she glam it would be this because like this is just wow for me I'm just like you guys knocked it out of the park with this one now we're moving into the more fun stuff of complexion because this is when we're talking about bronzer contour blush and highlight and this is for sure where i have the most products so i cannot make this video without talking about their liquid products the first one that we'll talk about here is their contour products so i have the shade warm honey and this one i actually like to use to just be able to bronze the skin this is what the product application looks like and when you apply it on the skin that is what it looks like and i think what i love the most about this is just how easy this formula blends like you can shear it out you can build it up and it just leaves the most beautiful bronzy effect on the skin which i'm always looking for and it works so well under different powders if you're setting it if you're gonna put powdered bronzer over it it just works so well and i love that so much now another product that i also have that i chef's kiss is their stick contour or bronzer products now i have two here we have this one which is just a solo one and this is what it looks like it comes with this brush on the opposite end which honestly i never really use i use my designated bronzer brush for that but this is the stick side and this is what she looks like this formula is also so so creamy and it literally blends like a dream you can it's just so smooth and once again when it comes to these specific products i just love how easy they blend and how they actually last on the skin a lot of these products claim to be long lasting and the ones that i've selected i literally keep because they do live up to that claim i tend to wear my makeup for a extensive time throughout the day especially if it's like work or if i'm out and about so i'd say it'd be around like eight to ten hours so i don't want my makeup coming off after like five hours and then it's just like did I even apply bronzer? Do I even have blush? And all of these products really do end up lasting so beautifully on the skin. I often also look for items that are just easy to work with. We're doing things quickly. We wanna make sure that the item blends. We wanna make sure that it looks well, that it performs well with others. And all of these really do stand that test. Another product that I have here is a Another complexion product, and this is in the color Espresso. This one is more of like a contour shade. The other is more like a bronzer. I'll actually just swatch those side by side. This color, that warmer color is Warm Honey, and this deeper one is called Espresso. So I like to use those two together to just be able to warm up the skin and also define using that contour shade. The last contour and bronzer item that I'll be speaking about are these color and sculpt 
duos and these are so amazing so on one side they have a bronzer or contour color and then on the other they have two different ones this one is actually like a concealer color so you can use this to conceal if you wish to do that and then on the other we have the contour so this is a nice two-in-one product to just be able to actually conceal and then contour and then they have another type that has the same concept to be able to contour but to also then highlight meaning adding some dew or glow so this is the bronzer color for that one so as you can see it's a lot more brown than this other and then on the other end instead of this being a concealer color it's actually more of a highlighter color so that one gives that really beautiful dewy highlighter look that I personally love to be able to add so these once again amazing to just be able to use on an everyday easily blends out and they just look so beautiful and flawless on the skin they do have different options so you can customize it for your skin tone and undertone but i would highly 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 recommend checking out their contour and bronzer stick product the next category is one of my favorites and that is going to be blush now i don't know about you but i have been loving blush lately i feel like it just adds such a beautiful flush of color back into the skin so my blush collection on Honestly, is this one right here you guys can't really see but it is like the entire shelf and it is probably the one that I have the most things in after eyeshadow I love blush especially affordable good formulas I am all here for it I love to collect all different types of colors that I can mix and things like that so with that being said, we have one, two, three, four. We have four different formulas of blushes that I'll be talking about for you guys to be able to see. The first, and I would probably say the most famous one is their liquid blushes. I'm sure you've seen these somewhere, if not in an ad, in a video. These are like all over, everywhere, and with good reason. I find them to be amazing. I love them. I find that they blend out so beautifully. It has the same it has the same component as the bronzer like i showed you guys on earlier i'll swatch some of these colors just so that you can see and i actually mentioned this in the other video that i was chatting about earlier i loved these but my biggest complaint was that they had glitter particles in them and i'm just like why i don't want glitter in my blush please remove them and just sell them that same way and guys they finally listened because now they have these in what they call the matte version which does not have the glitter particles in them so you know I had to go and quickly snatch some of my favorite shades up to just be able to put all over the cheeks and this is just two of the colors right on there I think that one is Dulce Vita and Risky Business that we have on here and they just are so once again similar to the contours so easy to work with you can dot them where you want them you can put them on your hand and blend it out with your finger or with a brush or with a sponge they're just so easy to work with they sit well as a base to a powdered blush if you don't want to apply anything over it it dries down and sets on the face so nicely so I love them and I'm so happy that they have the matte versions that do not have glitter the next formula that I'll talk to you guys about is the lightweight matte blushes and this is what they look like they also have these in quite a few different colors let me show you just two that I have right now this is in the color blissful which looks more like a bronzy blush but I love those for every day and when you just want a soft flush of color and then we have good vibes which was also in my 2020 or 2021 best of she glam I still stand by these I think these are absolutely stunning I love that they're matte I love that you can build them up and they blend so well so definitely check these out if you're more of a powdered blush person and you like a matte finish these are just spectacular really 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 have been enjoying is these cosmic crystal mousse blushes and this is what they look like i would definitely compare these to the ColourPop super shock shadow formula in the sense that they are like that cream to powder finish so when you 
swatch it or when you go like that to it you can feel it it feels creamy and as you start to blend it out it literally starts to feel like a powder which is like insane but it adds such a beautiful flush of color this color is rose before bros and this one is in the shade bellini and i think these come in just three shades i'm honestly patiently waiting for them to release newer colors because this formula is absolutely everything i love to wear this one when i'm literally doing a no makeup makeup day you just put some of that beautiful blush all over the cheeks and you are ready to go you have that beautiful flushed color all over the cheek and they just blend so nicely and they set so beautifully the last blush formula that I'll be talking about is these stick ones. Now here I have the color Dreamer and Midnight Hour and this is what they look like. We have this super hot pink bubblegum color as well as a more muted mauve color which I think is so beautiful all over the cheeks. Let me just swatch that other one for you and very similar to that. Ooh, look at that color. Oh my gosh to the contour and bronzer sticks that I was speaking of earlier they blend out so wonderful they last beautiful on the skin and they just look so good over foundation your bare skin or anything that you have underneath so that pretty much concludes all of blush quickly we'll move into highlighter and I have three different formulas on here we'll start with the metallic glow highlighter and this is in the shade solo first of all i love the print on these highlighters and this is just so stunning and so foiled and that really beautiful highlighter effect that is it right on there they have quite a few different shades on this this also performs so beautifully so if you're a powder type of gal this one is for you absolutely love it the next formula we'll go right back into is the cosmic crystal mousse highlighter similar to the blushes that i showed earlier they also have highlighters i believe in three different colors as well and this one once again has that really beautiful cream to powder type of feel as well this is in the color moonbeam it's that in the middle which is like that really beautiful light gold and i've really been enjoying this formula as well the newest formula that i've tried out is actually their liquid one which came out not too long ago so you know i had to get my hands on it this is what it looks like it comes with a doe foot application and this can really get intense because it is that liquid formula you can really build it up sheer it out and i think what i like the most about this is that it gives you enough time to play around with it and place it where you want to while it's still wet but when it dries down it turns into a powder formula where it's not sticky or dewy or anything like that which i think will be great for the fall and winter time when the wind is blowing you don't want your hair getting stuck to your highlight or your lip gloss so I'm super excited about this formula and I'm so happy that I picked it up. So if you like liquid highlighters, I would highly recommend this one. Before we go on to the third category, which is lips, I want to finish off the last. I guess I could have paired this with eyes, but we'll just do it for face. And this is my go-to brow product. This is their duo two-in-one marker slash brow pen. So on one end, we have a skinny brow pencil that you can easily use to just fill on in but my favorite side is the marker side this one is so perfect for just filling in the sparseness in the brows i think i have it in the color black brown so they have quite a few different ones and i love just creating those hair like strokes on the brows mine are pretty thin and also pretty sparse but i don't like to do the black brow effect anymore so markers like this is just so easy to just literally go through it and just create those like hair like strokes like i mentioned and i literally use this every single day i bought backup so good they have a ton of different other brow products i do find though that like with some of their other brow products the color is a little off like some of them can lean a little too gray or things like that are a bit ashy but this one i love so much so i would highly recommend you're getting two products in one so definitely think it is worth checking out now the last category that we have here is lips and if you've seen any of my she glam videos you know that i am an absolute diehard fan of their matte liquid lips now i know that matte liquid lips are not for everyone anymore everyone is very into gloss and lip oils and 
while I am too, I still love me a good matte liquid lip. And their formula I find to be so, so nice comfortable, long lasting. Honestly, that's just what can be applied to all of these products, that long lasting effect. My favorite all time color is this beautiful blue red called crimson. So like if there's any color and you're looking for a red, you're looking for like, hmm, what color should I dabble into? This color is unreal. And it literally, as you swipe on, there's no patchiness. There's no need for you to have to go over multiple, multiple times. You can just swipe it across and there's just an even dispense of the product. And it just looks so beautiful on the lip. They have so many different lip options. I have here sugar. I have lift off. I have this beautiful like strawberry pink color called heartthrob which i think will look so beautiful for the springtime i think i have honestly probably like 15 of their colors because i love it so much and when i want a liquid lip i often just lean to those so if you haven't checked them out and you are a liquid lip type of person definitely check them out and i think they're like what six to eight dollars so the price is like unreal for the product that you get. They wear well on your lip, but they don't dry it down. So I literally, I stand by those and I think I will continue to purchase those until I find something better because honestly, they're just that good to me. I really enjoy them. The next lip product that I want to talk about is actually their lip liners. First of all, I love this packaging. It's just super simple, chic, and elegant. And they have so many different colors. So I've swatched quite a few of them here. Some of those colors don't really work for me. I think I literally ordered like all of them just because I wanted to see in person which of the colors I like. But I love this brown and even these two up here. I tend to wear those a lot. What I don't like though is that they don't have the names listed on them. So it's hard to know which like color or shade I have here for you guys. But I'll try and look at them and comment down below or write in the description box which are the ones that I personally love the most. But I have quite a few of them on here as well too. And overall, I just love the formula. They're super creamy. They wear well throughout the day. They're long lasting and they pair really well with the liquid lip lips that I wear or even with the following item that I'll be talking about which is a newer purchase but I've been enjoying them already and that is the lip oils. Like I mentioned in my previous video, lip oils are all the rage lately and I am not upset about them. I find that I like how they feel a lot more than lip gloss although some lip glosses are so hydrating on the lip and that's what I look for in a glossy type of product and so i love that lip oils give that that beautiful glossy look on the lid but they hydrate like sometimes my lip are just going through like a drought season like we are hella dry so i love always just having a lip oil on hand i've been trying quite a few i have some from jacklyn cosmetic color pops which off the top of my head i know are some of my favorites and i've been using this one specifically and i've really been enjoying it for the last few days so super excited to continue to use these if you're looking for affordable lip oils I would highly 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 recommend these and also you can check out Colourpop they have really amazing ones well guys that concludes this video and that concludes my best of she glam beauty 2022 I also have a lot of their tools like makeup tools and things like that so let me know if you would like a best of she glam beauty cosmetic tools like I have sponges I have brush holders and things like that like for instance this which is so helpful in being able to separate all my things. I've ordered some containers. We have some brushes. We have like powder puffs. So let me know if you guys would be interested in like a part two featuring more cosmetic tools and things like that. I'd be more than happy to film that for you guys. But yeah, I hope you found it helpful. I will do my best to link everything that I talked about down below so that you guys can check it out. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing day, night, wherever you are, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.